Actions at the end. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it to the distant land. Behold, our Savior will come. You need no longer fear. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And today, Monday of second week of Advent, let us continue to come to the Lord and seek God's forgiveness. And so we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist and anticipate to celebrate Christmas. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May our prayer or petition rise before you. We pray, O、oh、Lord. That with purity unblemished, we, your servant, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah: The desert and the parched land will exult; the steep will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers, and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. See to those whose hearts are frightened. Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, the rivers in the steep. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh for the reed and papyrus. A highway will be there, called the holy way. No one unclean may pass over it, and false ghosts are stray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make on it that redeem will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return, and enter Zion singing. Crowned with everlasting joy, they will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Our response: Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. 
I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Please stand. <coughs> Alleluia. 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 Behold, the king will come, the Lord of the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed, and they were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on a stretcher through the tiles into the middle in the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their face, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your heart? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say, rise and walk. But that he may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them and picked up what he was laying on and went home glorifying God. Their astonishment seized them all, and they glorify God. And struck with all, they said, We have seen incredible things today. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. And today's gospel is so rich, and we can so we can learn so many lessons from today's gospel. And we hear a paralytic man, and was brought to Jesus Christ, uh, because many people were surrounding Jesus Christ. And these four men then went up to the roof and opened the roof, and <laughs> so that they can um, brought the paralytic man. Uh, in, in front of Jesus. So we see, um, actually, here we can really see the intercession prayer we often bring to our Mass. It is that uh, this form we are concerned for this uh, paralytic man, and uh, he was not able to walk to Jesus Christ. 
but uh, through them, uh, he was brought to Jesus Christ. Oftentimes, that's also our prayer due to those people we are concerned. Uh, yes, many people not able to come to daily Mass just like we do, and many people are far away from God and do not know Jesus Christ. Uh, but uh, it is through our prayer we bring them to our loving Lord, ask for healing and ask for God's blessing upon them, especially that they may know Jesus Christ too. So it's a really here what they they do with a paralytic man. It's really what we do in our prayer too. Uh, we bring those people who we concern and love them, and we bring them to our Lord Jesus Christ. And when Jesus saw this man you know, laying on the bed and was uh, par paralyzed, and he did not, like other times, immediately to uh, immediately heal him. But Jesus instead says, your sins are forgiven. So what does that mean? Of course, Jesus wants to teach a lesson of those people who surrounded with Jesus Christ. Those are scholars of the law and those scribes. And they are listening to, to Jesus Christ and also observe Jesus, what Jesus was doing. Of course, Jesus has the power to heal. And uh, the prophet in the Old Testament also had power to heal. But they are not the Messiah. They are not the Son of God. They are not the uh, Savior of the world. But Jesus, uh, in order to <laughs> let those people know that uh, he is the Son of God, he is God himself. He said, your sins are forgiven. That's why they were shocked to hear that. Uh, but Jesus wants to prove that, uh, yes, he has the uh, authority to forgive sins. That's why he did uh, what he did first. Uh, that is to say, uh, your sins forgiven, to forgive sins first. Then he performed uh, the great miracle in order to prove that uh, he is the Son of God. And also we know, uh, yes, uh, Jesus is more than a prophet, and uh, he's son of God. And also he just, just not come here uh, on this world to bring healing, physical healing only. And uh, spiritual healing is a priority. That's why he said your sins are forgiven. Oftentimes uh, we are thinking, Oh, God loves us. Uh, we have to be blessed physically well. We have, blessed. we have to be blessed with the prosperity, everything in this world, the fame. A lot of people thinking that way. But uh, the most blessing that God gave to us is that we are the, our sins already forgiven. We are baptized in Jesus Christ. Uh, we're going to inherit eternal life. That's the blessing that Jesus want to give us. Uh, Jesus does not want to give a false, uh, false impression. Yes, I come, I can heal all the physical healings, but that's not the prior, primary purpose that Jesus came into this world. Uh, Jesus came to forgive sins, uh, save, save us from uh, eternal damnation, and but bring us to eternal life. So uh, that's why we count God's blessing, especially uh, even we feel like, oh, we are not comparing with other people in this world. We may have less, uh, but uh, we have more in Jesus Christ because Jesus knows us, and uh, Jesus already forgiven our sins, and uh, Jesus already uh, called us to be his disciples. Uh, we are baptized in Jesus Christ. So that's the most blessing that Jesus has given to us. So let us uh, come to the Lord. And of course, we can bring uh, our petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. We can carry all those people we are concerned into this Mass as uh, God's blessing. Especially, we give God thanks. Yes, Jesus has come. Like all the people were amazed when Jesus did this great miracle. And Jesus continue to perform great miracles in our life. And we shall always uh, in awe before God and see the incredible things that God has done to each of us. 
and we glorify God by offering this sacrifice on this holy altar. The Lord bring everlasting joy to his people. Let us pray to him with confidence, knowing that all who all we have comes from him. For the holy people of God, that we may follow more closely in the footsteps of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. For those whose hearts are paralyzed by evil, and for those who use their authority to do unjust, uh, we especially pray for those people who are suffering uh, in the war and violence. Let us ask for grace of a conversion and a consolation for those people who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the handicapped, the sick, and the dying, that in the mystery of their suffering, they may sense the closeness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For ourselves, that our celebration of event may heal our hypocrisy and the hardness of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For the gift of compassion and friendship, let us pray that we may be grateful in the receiving and generous in giving. Let us pray to the Lord. And we bring all those people we love and we, and we are concerned and to our Lord Jesus Christ for healing, for blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. And we also pray for our beloved deceased. And we pray for Margaret Carison and Karen. And we pray also for Narciss Narciso Arias. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. For all the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we offer all our prayers to you, and may you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Amen. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, that may what we May what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope, as so with angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Margaret, 
and Narciso and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Have, have mercy on us all. We pray that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O oh Lord, in which we have participated, profit us. We pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing sins, you teach us by them to love the sins of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. A message ended. Go in peace. You all have a blessed day. Yeah.